Good morning guys. So it's about eight o'clock. It is supposed to torrential downpour today and the potatoes are past due. They're done being in the ground. Everything is died back. They need to be harvested. And hopefully Toby and I can get these potatoes out before it starts pouring. You ready to go harvest some potatoes, Toby? You ready, Bubba? So the other day I went to the store in town and just grabbed a bunch of cardboard boxes for this purpose. You ready? Let's go on to the garden. Harvest some potatoes. So as y'all can see, everything is pretty mostly died back and they are definitely ready to be harvested. I'll see if Toby's gonna let me do this. He's quite fussy this morning. <sighs> so I just harvested a few. This is a pretty good size one. I don't know, I touched something nasty. It's like slimy and stuff, so I'm like, uh. Oh, I've never done this before, so this is my first time. I'm just kind of taking a shovel and I unfortunately have sp um, sparred through some of them um, with the shovel. Definitely have to improve it next time but we've gotten a couple so far. They're definitely a little smaller, but that's all right. I think the Yukon Golds are smaller naturally, naturally anyway. Toby! <laughs> but, let's see, this one's really small. It's gonna go through all of these and see what we get here. Ooh, we've hit some gold, guys. These ones look really good. Um, I will have to perfect the method next time so I don't, um, see, like I just pinched that with my finger by accident. Um, they're more delicate than I had imagined um, and it, it's very easy to get them here Toby you want to put that in there with the shovel um, by accident and you don't want to do that especially if you want to store them um, either for seed potatoes that's a really good size one hopefully that will scar up or you want to store them for the winter um, you don't want to be hitting them with the shovel every single time wow that's a good size one Okay, so what my hand actually went into the first time I told you was slimy, it was this. It's actually, I think it's a decaying potato tuber. Um, so I think, unfortunately, Blight got some of them. But that's a learning lesson, right? It was so gross. So I'm noticing Blight got a lot of these, unfortunately. Um, oh, this is not, I'm not happy about this. Yucky, yucky, yucky. So this stinks like death, guys. This is what's happening to a lot of the tubers don't touch it sweetheart that stinks like death this is what we've got so far um some pretty good ones but don't that smells like death sweetheart this is what's happening to a lot of the tubers unfortunately so like some of them are actually just pulling up like when i pull up on the stems some of them are actually just like pulling up underneath the plant which is actually a lot easier to harvest it that way that's a really good one can you put it in the box sweetheart good job um but then the ones that have like the blight that attacked it, they're just not definitely pulling up. They're just, good job, <laughs> slam dunk. <laughs> but um, next year I'll definitely be improving this method. I don't think I'm gonna do a double digging method again. Um, you live and you learn. And we did get so much rain this year, so that probably definitely did affect um, this. Cause I don't know if y'all remember, oh, I've got an icky nasty grub in there. Um, I my plants were suffering blight early on um and i tried um doing measures to um you know prevent it from happening which obviously didn't prevent all of it but i did save some of the tubers so that's really good look at all those potatoes good job good job <laughs> oh. so yeah we're getting some really good ones here which is good so it's not a whole total waste <laughs> You helping to <laughs> as he gets me covered in mud. <laughs> you put that one in the box. Thank you. Good job. Slam dunk. So I don't know if y'all remember when I first planted these potatoes when I kind of worked this bed and I did a video on how to build your first vegetable garden, your first emergency vegetable garden. When I dug this out, it was a picture of Chevy and it was primarily all clay and I have layered a bunch of compost and mulch and stuff like that in it, but it is just alive right now. See those earthworms? So this soil is in definitely a lot better shape um, than it was before I worked it. <laughs> We've got one shoe on and one shoe off. Yeah, one shoe on, one shoe off. So we got a good, a massive amount. Some are green, but that's okay. 
Shabby, Shabby's in doggy heaven, sweet pea. I'll just see all that rich decaying matter where I just pulled this potato plant out. That's from the manure and just what the worms have done and everything. Um, so the soil has definitely been improved since planting these in here. Um, because a lot of these tubers, actually I did notice that it was the seed potatoes that seemed to have got hit by the blight only. Um, probably because of the rain, it was just crazy in April. I don't know if y'all remember that. So it's good that some of these, it was able to produce some from the seed even though they all kind of rotted. But um, it definitely won't be able to put plant anything probably in here um, next season just because they say they recommend to rotate your potatoes and your your um, tomatoes and stuff like that to prevent disease well, we got Nana here helping harvesting the taters looks like Nana got several big ones whoa <laughs> You telling him out, out, out? Yeah, good job, buddy. We don't want the doggies in the garden. Yeah. Decent size, definitely. Look at this grub. <gasps> Look at this grub that was in the potatoes. I don't know, maybe these guys got to the the tubers. Ew, is he like I don't know, do y'all know what kind of grub this is? So here's all the potatoes that we got well, after the ones that were uh, rotted. I think this is definitely not bad. I'd say it's at least 25 pounds from 10 that I planted. Um, really, really pleased with this. They're really big. Some of them are just massive. I'm quite pleased with this. So now I have to go lay them out to dry for a couple days and then save some for seed potatoes and then store the rest. So this is all the potatoes Toby and I and my grand my mother helped this morning. Um, I'm quite pleased. I think it's probably about 25 pounds. I don't know, maybe I'll hop on the scale and, and, and give a more accurate estimate. Um, I don't have like a food scale or anything like that, but you can see there's several really good sized potatoes here. Um, so some of these, like I said, I'm gonna save for seed potatoes. I don't know, I might go against the grain and actually plant some of these back into the bed that they were in and see what happens. And I've got several other potato varieties here that have eyes on them that I have bought from the store. I don't know, I might just experiment and have some fun on it because I'm a real breaker. So the next step is to dry these out, to lay them all down um, like in one layer on the floor. Um, in a warm room that has light for like two days. So I was thinking about putting them upstairs in my bedroom because right now I'm not using that since Toby and I um, haven't been upstairs and we're still sleeping downstairs. And then um, put them in a bunch of cardboard boxes um, and then layer them with um, newspaper to store the ones that I'm going to store. And then like some of them that I like obviously hit with the spade and stuff like that, I'm going to have to just cook those up and stuff like that. But I'm gonna get going. My son just woke up from a nap. And um, till next time, y'all. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing. If you ever have any comments or questions, leave them below. Um, and subscribe to see my next video. Be blessed. Bye.